Welcome back to Sonsta Games, the place to find new stylish games and welcome to my guide on how to make money in Rogue State Revolution. There are five main ways to make money, favors, policies, budget, expert and tourism. We're going to go through each of these. So we're going to start with the simplest one, which is favors. So on the left top, you can see a list of ministers. And underneath the minister, we've got this star symbol, and this is a favor. And you can exchange favors for money, intelligence, or you can use favors to upgrade buildings. If you exchange your uh, favor for money, this is a really good way to get one time bunch of cash. How you gain favors? You gain favors by fulfilling the minister's quest. So once in a while the minister will tell you what they want and then all you have to do is fulfill that quest and that will give you a favor. What's important to note is that each minister gives you a different amount of money per favor. For example, Madia Nazar is going to give me a hundred. However, if I go here to Belal, he's only going to give me 95. So it's just something to keep in mind is that not all favors are equal. Next, let's talk about policies. If you look in your budget window, you're going to see in the predicted income, this is the policy taxes. This is how much you're making through like, uh, policies that makes you money. And here in the expenses, you can see the different policies separated into a specific ministries. You can also hover over this. You can see the personal budget of the minister. Then you can see the policies, which gives you 32.55. So for example, if I jump to the development, we can see some of these uh, policies that change. So the thing the way that's making me the most money is the stall roads. You can see that this is making me 17 per turn. So if I turn that off and jump back to the budget, you're going to see that this policy tactics that used to be 18 is now only two. So the 17 is round up, it only counts as 16 here. So this is gets lower. Okay, I can turn it back on. And then I have another initiative called clean water. This is actually taking away my money, but I have it on because it increases health access. So I can turn that off. Actually, let me keep it on for a moment and let me show you here in the development, we're now paying 38. Now, if I jump here and turn the clean water off, you're gonna see in the budget that now we only pay 36. So this is where you can see the expenses that you have to different policies and the income that you're gaining. It's also important to note, this is not just the policies that you can see in the research window, but the general policies on how you treat, for example, your transportation on telecommunications going to affect how much money you make. So for example, you can see because I prioritize cars, I actually have to pay 5%. I could switch it to fiscal responsibility, which will lower entertainment, but it's not going to make me cost as much money per turn. So if I click on that and I jump back to the review budget, you're going to see that we are paying even less for the, minister, for the development of the ministries. Okay. All right, next let's talk about budget. Now, another area where you can adjust how much money you make per month is the budget. So in the budget, obviously you want to put more money into areas that you want to increase. In our case, for example, the prosperity, but oh, the more money you put in, the less money you make per month. You can only change the budget once per turn, but if you lower the amount of money that you put into a certain area too soon after you increased it, the people in that area will be very unhappy. So you want to make sure that you don't make the changes to the budget too soon in the same area. So you really want to think it through. In the same uh, tab, you're also going to be able to do investment. So if you research a specific investment, let me show you here in the finance. If you research, for example, state investments, you will be able to invest into the treasury surplus into extra money to gain a passive income every month. So that can be quite useful. All right, now let's talk about export. You can either import some of the resources, then put them in the manufacturing plan, for example, and then export it out. Or you can just go from the ground up and go through every single step. So if you want to go through every single step, you're going to need to get a surveyor and the surveyor needs to go onto this question mark hex. And then he's going to explore. And this will tell you what kind of resources we found. So in our case, we found bauxite, which we could use to make household appliances and supply chains. Now, this is a fairly complicated production, but it will hopefully make you a lot of money if you manage to export it. It's really important to look into the diplomacy, whether someone wants the things you want to make. So for example, if you look at the household appliances, no one actually demands it, so you will not be able to export it to make money. There is an exception for that. If you manage to research a free trade, you can then trade away any resource even if they don't demand it 
but this is not something you'll be able to do from the beginning because you need to finish that research and you need to be very very friendly with a different nation in order to be able to get them to agree to free trade so typically you just want to look at this list and you want to see okay what do they want what could i make so here you could for example see that some people might be interested in processed foods or into luxury goods now the question is do you have the right resources if you don't have the right resources that's okay for example if you wanted to make luxury goods what i can do is i can uh, import the gold ore turn it in and then build a smelter and a manufacturing plant and then export it back out obviously because we're importing we have to pay some money in order to import that specific thing but hopefully the profit from the export should outweigh it Another thing to keep in mind is that if uh, your people have a demand, for example, for the processed food, you can simply import it from another country and you do not pay for it. Your citizens do. You only pay for the things that you import that you use in your factories. So let me just show you this example. We're going to do the luxury goods supply chain. I'm going to see how much money can that make us. I have finished the production for the luxury goods and you can now see that I'm paying 17 to import the gold and I am exporting out 40. You can see that my smelters and manufacturing plant had a much higher limit so I could actually be importing more and also exporting more which will allow me to make money. You might ask why I'm not doing that. Well that's because how much you can import and export is dependent on your relationship with these countries. So you need to make sure that they like you more in order to be able to import and export more. Now another way to make money is through tourism. You can click here on the left bottom on the attractive land and then this is going to show you how attractive this area. This is really important because the attractiveness will affect the rating of your hotel. So you want to place your hotel into this green spot. It's important that the hotel has to be adjacent to a city. So for example, I can place a hotel over here. And then you're going to be able to see in a moment the rating. So the basic rating is one and because you have high land attraction, it gets increased to three. You could also exchange a favor from the Minister of Foreign Affairs had we had one to increase the hotel to even a higher level. Then you can click here on tourism data and you can see how much the hotel is making you. So you can see that at the moment this hotel is giving us 14 per turn. It's also really important to know that you can have only have one hotel per province, which means you can have up to five hotels in your nation. All right, I hope you enjoyed this guide. If you did, write down in the comments and you can click on the right to watch my Let's Play of Rogue State Revolution or some other games that I play on this channel. I'll see you there. Bye bye.